Welcome back, guys. Well, berry picking season is basically over. There's a few things you can find on the trees nowadays, you know, like the highbush cranberry and some juniper berries. However, by and large, most of it's all wrapped up for the year. So behind me, I have uh, some shrubs here, and they're called the choke cherry. And I had a great harvest this uh, late summer with the choke cherry, and I produced some amazing products with it. So I made choke cherry jelly, and I made choke cherry liqueur. Now it's taken a few months to have the final product for the choke cherry liqueur, and since I haven't really shared with you this recipe, I wanted to show you how to do it from beginning to end. So let's go back to the end of August when I began picking the choke cherries, and then I'll show you how to make the liqueur. So choke cherries, I've got a lot of them uh, on the property by the cabin here, and I'll just show them to you. They're beautiful little red berry on these shrubs. These are some smaller shrubs. I've got some bigger ones kind of over in there. So today I'm going to be picking a bunch of them. And there's lots of trees, so that's a good thing. Or lots of shrubs, rather. So I haven't been out here very long and got a fair bit of them already. I'm going to keep picking. These beautiful See these beautiful red berries. And tons of these little leaf hopper like bugs in the choke cherries. I guess they like them too. Between that and the earwigs. Ugh. So I'm going to make uh, two batches and uh, we're going to put them into 750 ml wine glass bottles. Um, but for starters, I'm just going to get a jar to mix um, my ingredients and then we'll decant them into my, uh, my wine bottles here. All right, so you've got your jar here. Um, for this part of the recipe, for one batch, what we're going to do uh, is one cup of choke cherries. So what I've done is I've washed them, taken all the stems off, and these choke cherries are ripe. So I've removed any ones that are not ripe, um, you know, things like that. And then to the one cup of the choke cherries, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. And there we go. And then to that, what we're going to do is add one and a half cups of the vodka of your choice. So there's one cup. All right. And for the vodka, I'm using a local uh, distillery called Top Shelf Craft Distillers. Um, they were established a couple of years ago out of Perth, Ontario. Um, so location here in Eastern Ontario. And uh, yeah, it's really neat. So I would like to use this in our recipe today. You can see it's really neat. They've got the handwritten batch numbers on there. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of a mix there. Now I'm going to funnel it into my wine bottle. Sometimes little choke cherries get stuck on the way in, so you may have to help them along. So looks like I have a little bit of sugar left, uh, you know, in my jar. So what I'm going to do is uh, just. Mix a little bit of the vodka back in here just to rinse it down a little bit and get the rest of the sugar back in my jar. So that looks great. So I'm going to make a second batch and put it in this bottle as well. Um, if you wanted to make a full batch, you could put all of them in one uh, wine bottle. However, you'd need uh, a one and a quarter liter wine bottle to help hold everything. So I'm just going to split it up between two bottles and then what we're going to do is seal it tightly with a cork. So as you can see I've put a cork in the top of each bottle. So what I've done is I've also put a little bit of tape around this cork because I kind of had to cut the the cork to fit in the bottle because um, these were brand new corks that normally you'd kind of pressure fit into the nozzle of a wine bottle. So um, I just sort of cut the ends but there's a little bit of a gap there so I just sort of taped it so there'll be no leaking. What we're going to do every day, we're going to store this in a warm spot and then we're going to just sort of turn them uh, to help mix the sugar and we're going to do that uh, every single day. 
Here we are back in the kitchen and it is two months later. As you can see, the choke cherry liqueur is really coming along and it's ready to strain and decant into decorative bottles. So I just shook it up a little bit uh, before I started filming here. So you can see the choke cherries there, the liquid, uh, that's basically the vodka there. And you can see a little bit of flock in there. And basically when that settles out, it's not in there. So I think it's just a little bit of breakdown of some of the cellular components of the choke cherry. It's not bacteria because it's really not proliferating and uh, it, it does settle to the bottom and doesn't remain uh, throughout. And there's no mold on there. Today we're going to strain it through my jelly bag here into this pitcher. And then what we'll do is we'll put it into decorative bottles. So as you can see, I have these decorative bottles here. I sterilized them previously, sort of washed them out and then boiled them just to keep them uh, nice and clean. What I'm going to use is this coffee filter here to get that flock out of there and uh, make the choke cherry liqueur crystal clear. So let's try to do this without spilling anything. There we go. Just let that drip through. You may have to change out the filters as it gets a bit clogged, but... So just to speed things along here, I've got uh, three setups going. If the filter gets a little bit clogged, what I do is I'll just take out the filter, pour it into a new filter, and let it continue to drip. There it is. The beautiful choke cherry liqueur. I had a little taste of it, and it's certainly a little bit medicinal. Uh, I don't want to say it tastes like cough syrup, but it's a little... Reminds me of that, you know, that sweet berry flavor, and uh, it's excellent. And cleared up all the flocculent that I saw in there, basically came out once we strained it through with the coffee filters. And there's the final product. I can assure you that choke cherry liqueur was excellent. Comes highly rated by those that have tried it. Thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.